The leaf is a part of a plant that is colored green, and the green coloration is due to the green pigment called the chlorophyll. This is contained in the chloroplast, thus it traps light during photosynthesis, the leaf. There's a toad covering herself under the rain and on the leaf. She sits on the upper part of the leaf and the lower part covers her from the rain. This is Teacher Jeffrey. Welcome to our biology online class. Let's dive in. The leaf. We will focus on the upper and the lower parts of the leaf. The left side is the upper part of the leaf and the lower part of the leaf is on the right side. On the upper part of the leaf has a layer called the cuticle. It is a waxy layer that contains snow cells that prevents water loss. Let us see where it is found in the cross section of the leaf. This is the cross sectional cut of the leaf and we can see the cuticle on top. Below the cuticle are the upper epidermal cells. So this is a layer of cells that contains no chloroplast. It is responsible for protecting the internal parts of the leaf. In the cross section, you can see the upper epidermis below the cuticle. They are layers of cells with no chloroplast. The lower part of the leaf has a layer called epidermis. This lower epidermis does not contain chloroplasts like the upper epidermis. They are also responsible for protecting the internal parts of the leaf from the lower side. In the lower part, in the cross-sectional cut, this is the lower epidermis. In the lower part of the leaf, we have also the guard cells. They contain chloroplast. It means they can photosynthesize. Water goes in the guard cell and increases the water content or turgidity within the cell and forms the opening or pore called the stoma or stomata. These are the guard cells in the lower part of the leaf and they are within the lower epidermis. The pore or opening formed when guard cells are turgid is the stoma or stomata. This allows gases to go in like carbon dioxide and out like oxygen during photosynthesis. It is time for our quick check. This is the question. Which is non-cellular waxy layer of the leaf that prevents water loss? A. Cuticle B. Lower epidermis C. Stoma D. Upper epidermis Kindly write your answer in the comment box below. In the upper part of the leaf, we learn that it has waxy layer called the cuticle. This prevents water loss. Below the cuticle is the upper epidermal layer, which protects the internal part of the leaf. The lower part, on the other hand, is consists of the lower epidermal layer, that protects the internal parts of the leaf, like the upper epidermis, and also the guard cells. Guard cells contain chloroplast. When water goes in this cell and becomes turgid, it produces the pore or opening we call the stoma or stomata. This allows gases to go in and out of the leaf. This is the leaf. We focus on the upper and lower part of the leaf. This ends our biology online class about the upper and lower part of the leaf. This is Teacher Jeffrey. Bye for now. Always remember, a goal without a plan is just a wish.